many years now. Welcome. No one. <laughs> well, start with a welcome. Welcome everyone. Yes, go ahead. For many years now, no one has nailed the electric vehicle game like Tesla has. Oh, that's First true. First with the Model S, then with the Model 3, they have been untouchable on the drag strip as well as in terms of sales. Yes, but at the 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show, the Tesla Model S finally, finally gets a very worthy rival. Welcome to the Motor Show update presented by Michelin. The car he's referring to is the Porsche Taycan. And that's a company that knows a thing or two about building cars. Oh yes, Porsche certainly does. And let's see then how that pans out. Stop. We got through that whole thing without making a single joke. Nonsense. We didn't because he's still here. Well, I'd call the Taycan Porsche's first all-electric vehicle, but that won't be true because Ferdinand Porsche built one in 1898, the Egger Lohner. Freaking amazing! And 121 years later, Porsche built themselves this. To me, it looks better than all the Teslas with the Panamera vibe. And the Panamera looks fabulous, but the Taycan, even more so. From the signature LED headlamps to the light bar at the rear with a retractable spoiler, it looks fabulous. Unlike the Teslas, the Taycan's interior is full-on retro. Except for the fact that the 1963 inspiration is drawn on these screens. 16.8 inches for the driver and a couple of more for the passengers. And it looks spectacular and very much Porsche. The steel and aluminium chassis places the battery pack on the roof. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The battery pack is on the floor as usual and that's to keep the center of gravity low. And the 93.4 kilowatt hour battery pack powers two motors in, on the front and rear axle. And that makes the Taycan an all-wheel drive. There's the Taycan Turbo S and the Turbo. And I honestly don't know what to make of those in an all-electric car. But when they see performance, they will know it. The Turbo S makes 761 PS and gets to 100 km an hour in 2.8 seconds and that's ridiculous. The Turbo makes about 80 PS less and gets to 100 km an hour in 3.2 seconds. 200 km per hour times are 9.8 and 10.6 seconds and both max out at 260 km an hour. And this is a serious electric car. 412 km range on the Turbo S 450 on the other one. A fast charger will give 5 to 80% charge in just under 23 minutes. A home charger will take 9 hours for a full charge. And now for the familiar bits. This is a proper Porsche. So the Taycan gets rear wheel steering, torque vectoring, active roll stabilization, and it even gets four driving modes to control the adaptive air suspension. It also has launch control, just in case things get a little out of hand. Tell me you get the feeble joke he just made. Nothing here is feeble, Shumi. Not the joke or the 420mm ceramic composite brakes on the Taycan S. There's so much to talk here about this car. I haven't even gotten into regenerative braking or how you can drive the Taycan with the regen and accelerator alone. But, time's up. I disagree with Abik's fanboyism here because the Tesla Model S, when it switched on to its ludicrous power mode, ludicrous power mode, it's faster and has more range, faster in 0 to 60 timing, than the Porsche Taycan. True, but Porsches, for example, have always been slower than, say, Lamborghinis, but they're better cars to drive overall. So I think that the, this Porsche will be an amazing electric vehicle to drive. In fact, they even tune the sound. Tune the sound? Okay, no one yet has an inline six electric motor. So you take a chill pill. Porsche for the first time has invented a turbo in an electric vehicle. Well, the name debate on the Taycan rages here at Pardiff. Thank you so much for watching the Motor Show update presented by Michelin. We are coming at you almost live from the IAA 2019 in Frankfurt where Abhik is. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Hit the bell icon so we can notify you when more cars with funny names come out at Frankfurt. Ping. But it really makes no sense. I mean, it's an electric vehicle that has a turbo in its name. First off, Porsches had turbo. Uh, but when maybe they didn't have turbos turbo on the, the internal combustion engines. No, but too. maybe there's a free turbo in the boot of that car, which you can use in the other Porsche. 
because they're clear that nobody will buy just the tax. There's a joke.